Hi, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and I'm preparing this GIMP demonstration for CIS 295, and that is how to work with this Weber bitmap image that we are transforming into becoming a PowerPoint background. So first I'm going to launch GIMP. And I'm going to open, so get a file open, the file for, that is located in student common folder, in my Davis folder. CIS 295 folder and then the CIS 295 student files it is the last image almost the last image in there it's called Weber.bmp I want you to open that several things we have to do to the image we have to find our home country flag of course if it's not there go out to the internet and find one um, my home country is the US so I'm going to capture the US flag and place it along in here and then I'm going to erase or I shouldn't say erase I'm going to uh, delete the, the remaining flags on the right uh, I want Weber College to disappear obviously we're no longer Weber College we're Weber International University so what we want to do in is also get rid of this white frame that exists around the image so follow me in these steps as we convert this image and save it and then we'll bring it up in PowerPoint. Now, first of all we want to go to our toolbox and select the rectangular select tool and I want to capture the flag, the US flag for my purposes today. So I need this view a little bigger. You can do shift plus let's see, get on the right one. Shift plus will zoom it in for you a bit and with my rectangular select tool activated I will take my mouse and I will go over and select the US flag. I can adjust it if I grab too much or too little I can adjust as well. Okay, I'm going to click inside and I'm going to then just cut instead of copy. I could use copy, that's fine, but cut works well too. So my shortcut for cut is control X. I'm going to then place it where I would like for it to be. I want it somewhere amongst these flags. Um, let me take this flag and I'm going to select an area that is equal to that flag so that I can uh, put my new flag in there. I don't quite think I made it wide enough. Let me do that. And GIP gives you the ability to go in there and correct. That looks pretty close. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is paste in there. I'm telling it where to go to paste. So I'm doing, going to do paste, which is also control V. V is in Victor. And that puts my American flag over here now. Now everything to the right of, the, of my home country flag uh, is going to go away. So let me also click in out here to stop the select from going on and let me select the remaining flags all the way to the edge now if I didn't get it just right I can go back and do a little better there hopefully it looks like I might be a little low and let's see I also meant to change my background color to black. Let me do that. Get them both black. <laughs> Makes it easier. Um, I think I'm too low here. I can pop that up a bit. Okay. And at this point, that is what I want to select. I want to, uh, to delete it. I just want to click inside of it in here and then hit delete on the keyboard and that makes those all of those go away. Click outside to make the select marching ants go away. I also want to get rid of this text so I can go up and um, apply the same technique. Just basically select uh, Weber College because actually we're using this for a PowerPoint background so we that would be in our way if we left it there. And I want to click inside now that I've selected it and then again find the delete button on your keyboard hit delete and that will make it go away then click outside to uh, 
make that make the marching ants stop. Now we can um, also click on the color picker color picker tool on the toolbox and notice our we have a true black maybe going on in here but just uh, not so much there and if depends on which way I want to take it you can select the color picker go up here and select just that random black color to have it go into these areas and then select fill color and uh, just kind of go in there and that kind of fixes it makes it all look the same now so I think right now it's pretty much the same as the other black which is a bit of a speckled black which is fine now at this point I think I've eliminated everything I do not want and I've got my blacks all equal now and I will uh, have to do one more thing. Let me check, take my view back to just uh, the normal view back to 100%, let's say. And what I have to notice here is I have a white background or a white frame around this picture that I do not want because that would mess up my, that would mess up me using it as a PowerPoint background because I'd have white in the background. I wouldn't want that. So we must again select just the image with black in it and not the frame that's around it. So let's select that again with your rectangular select tool and just check it to make sure you're indeed in the black part and not in the white part. Let me just make sure. It's better to be too far in than to be too far out. I'm showing a little bit of white. Okay, I think I'm good to go on that. Now, I want to just crop out the white, so I'm going, now that I've selected what I want to keep, I want to go up to Image and just do a Crop to Selection. And notice the white changes to gray, which means it's cropped out the white. And it's a good time to save what you've done, so we'll file and we'll do a Save As because this has been a bitmap image and I want to change it to just a JPEG. So I'll probably say Weber. Um, maybe I'll call it Weber background and then get rid of the BMP and put JPEG in there so JPG is fine and save that and it may ask you to save as JPEG you say save Okay, so that's our finished background. So let me um, close this out. Close GIMP out. Don't really need it right now. And let me start PowerPoint. Just to show you how this becomes a background. What we want to do here, a few things I always do to any new PowerPoint, is go to the Home tab, select Layout, and I always say blank. I want those pre-formatted boxes to go away. I also I uh, want to set the background. So let me go to Design tab. That's where you set your background at. And it's not completely obvious, but over on the far right it says Background. And then there's a little arrow next to that. That's the one you want to click on. Click on the little arrow. You have choices here. You want to select Picture or Texture Fill because obviously we're going to put a picture in. And it's going to let us browse back to that image where it's saved at. So we're going to insert from File. And we have to take it back to that file, which happens to be in Student Common Folder. That's Drive S. And my Davis folder. The 295 folder. And the student CIS 295 student files. Now I call this one Weber Background JPEG. There it is. Let's insert it as our background. So it becomes our PowerPoint background. We always say apply to all. So every new slide we ask for has that background and close. So that gives us a nice background to um, create our personal PowerPoint. Thank you for your time.